The menu for the Thermion is quick and easy. Let's start. One short press of the power button will power the unit on. While holding down the power button, we'll start a countdown timer, at which when hit zero, we'll power the unit completely off. If you let off of the power button before the countdown hits zero, it will put the unit into a sleep mode. Moving over to the zoom button, one short press will scale the zoom up, doubling it each time, while one long press of the zoom button will start picture-in-picture -picture mode. Short pressing the zoom button while picture-in-picture -picture mode is on will scale up the picture-in-picture -picture box, doubling it each time. Long pressing the zoom button will remove picture-in-picture -picture mode. Moving over to the record button, one short press will start recording, while one long press will stop and save the video. While recording, if you short press the record button, it will pause the video, but not stop and save it. Doing one long press while not recording will change from video mode into photo mode. If you short press while in photo mode, you will take a still shot. Moving over to the navigational dial, one short press will bring up a shortcut menu. In this menu, you have statiometric range finding, your brightness, your contrast, and your identification modes. You have identification mode, forest mode, rock, and that's it. You use one short press of the navigational dial to switch between these options. While rotating the navigational dial, you will turn them up or down. Your brightness and contrast setting are on a scale from 1 to 20. Long pressing your navigational dial in will bring you out of the shortcut menu. Another long press, if you're in your home screen, will bring up your full menu. And starting from the top, you'll see you have your mode option, which again lets you select between rocks, forest, identification mode, and user mode. One long press in the menu will go back. Rotating the dial, you will move up and down through the menu. Going to the next option, you have image detail boost. One short press will toggle this feature on and off. Going to the next end menu option, you have zero ring profile. This is where you have your zero ring profiles A through E. This allows you to sight in multiple weapons or multiple calibers of weapons with one scope. Your next option is your reticle setup. Going into your reticle setup, you will see your first option is reticle type. Scrolling through this right here, you will notice the reticle changes to different reticles. This is all up to personal preference. Short pressing will select one. Your next option is reticle color. This gives you options of different reticle colors varying the outside hash marks to the inside dot. Your next option is reticle brightness. This of course brings up and down the brightness level of the reticle. Your next menu option is going to be icon brightness. Moving this up and down changes the brightness level of all the icons on the menu. Your next, next menu option is Wi-Fi activation. This feature is a short press to toggle on or off.
The next menu option is calibration mode. You have automatic, semi-automatic, and manual. Your next menu option is your zeroing. One short press will bring you to this screen. At this screen, you want to add a new distance. Once you have your distance selected, one long press will bring you to your windage and elevation screen. This is where you will side in your rifle. Using one long press of your menu button will save your zeroing coordinates. Another long press will bring you back to your menu. The next, zero, the next menu option we have is your microphone. This toggles on or off and allows you to record sound while videoing. The next menu option we have is your color palette. This allows you to select between multiple color palettes for the thermal. The next menu option is general settings. In general settings, you will find options like your language, date, time, your units of measure, default settings, which this returns the unit to its original default settings. It does not erase your zeroing profiles, however. Your next option is to format the memory card. This formats the memory card erasing any files you have on it. The next menu option is your Wi-Fi settings. This is how you will change your password or view the password that's on the device or switch from owner or guest. The next menu option you have is the accelerometer. Switching this feature off will disable any function the accelerometer uses, like side incline. While the accelerometer is on and side incline is on, the unit can detect when it is not perfectly level. The next menu option you have is defective pixel repair. Selecting this will bring you into the defective pixel repair menu. One long press will bring you out of the menu. The last menu option you have is device information. Selecting this will display useful information about your device, such as the SKU, the hardware, the firmware version, the serial number, and so forth. This has been a complete breakdown of the Thermion menu.